So guys, all the things that we do on the internet is based totally on web 2.0. Whether it be making YouTube videos or uploading reels on Instagram or commenting or chatting with your friends on any social media. All these things are based on web 2.0. Guys, but there are some platforms which are using web 3.0. Now, what is web 3.0? Before telling you what is web 3.0, let me tell you that what are the disadvantages of web 2.0. So in web 2.0, everything that you upload or do on any platform is owned by that platform. You have no control over that thing. They can ban your app, website accounts. They can do anything. And they also have a total control on your personal details that you enter while using a website or making an account. They can do anything, you never know. They will always say that these things and these details are very safe, but you never know. And in web 2.0, everything is being controlled by big companies like Google, Amazon, Twitter, Facebook. They have all your personal details, all your photos, and they can do anything. Every actions of yours on web 2.0 is being tracked by these platforms. So guys, this is where comes web 3.0. Web 3.0 is totally based on blockchain technology that is decentralization. In web 2.0, everything was centralized in big companies, but here everything that you do on web 3.0 is totally owned by you. And all cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and NFTs work on web 3.0. So for example, you are on web 3.0, you upload a reels on Instagram. So that reel is totally owned by you. The platform can't do anything with that reel. That reel is totally owned with you. You can earn money on it. You can monetize that reel or you can even give the ownership of that reel to some platform to earn money. In web 2.0, all you did was read and write. But in web 3.0, you can read, write. You have better privacy. You have ownership of your data and you also have decentralization.